Happy New Year 2023. Um, a quick share. For those of you who have not applied for disability, but feel like your day may be coming, um, two things you're going to want to do before you apply. And the reason why I say before you apply, because it's going to affect how your application is um, taken. Uh, well, how it's submitted, assuming you have someone um, with experience to submit it for you, um, or even if you're doing it per se, but you might not know all the ins and outs as to why. First, you're gonna wanna download your social security annual earnings statement. This you can find at ssa.gov forward slash my account. And this is gonna have some important information onto it, on it as to your history of earnings, what you can expect as a benefit if you were to be found disabled. Um, and the reason why I say do it now before you apply is because generally you can't get some of this information after you apply. So for some reason, it's it seems to be shut off is, is the word I'm getting. So download that. I would suggest downloading it as a PDF um, and saving it to your device and or printing it out. If you only have a phone, if you could save it to your phone as a PDF, that's great. That way, when you get your attorney um, or your non-attorney rep, you're going to be able to send that to them. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to get it um, because you've already filed and it's been blocked. Another thing you're going to want to do is um, call the 1-800 number. That's 800-772-1213 and ask for your dates last insured, D. L I date last insured. Very important. Um, there's another video on determining what should be your alleged onset date we, when you apply. Um, it tends to be that the SSA staffers often don't get it right because they don't inquire as to the many other um, reasons why it can go earlier than what they put down. And it's very hard to get that changed in the middle of a claim unless you're gonna go all the way to hearing. And then a judge is always is always willing to listen and understand uh, why we'd want to amend that. Um, so you don't really wanna get hooked in on an alleged onset date that would be inaccurate and would deprive you of potentially many months of back benefits um, by not getting it done right. So the third thing I would actually say, um, I would recommend, and again, this is gonna look very biased on my part, but if you can get a representative who's experienced and you know maybe an exclusive SS person um, who knows how to do this right, you're gonna wanna get them on board before you even file. There are plenty of lawyers that will not do that. I don't know if they don't feel experienced enough or um, probably for many of them, they don't wanna do that extra legwork. Um, the other downfall for them uh, in theory is that the more help you get, the more chance the better chance you have of winning early on, which means the representative might not be able to get paid because there's gonna be no back benefits. Um, that is something that some lawyers um, won't take an early case because they want it to season and age so that when you do prevail, there's more likely gonna be back benefits, something for them to get paid on. I get that, but there's plenty of us, I think that do take them before initial. We're willing to do that legwork. We wanna see it done right. And if the, um, if statistically it means that you're more likely to win sooner, God bless, that's great. Um, I think a better case early on is better for you. Um, it's very hard for us to correct mistakes you already made because they are now already permanently in your record. And you, I've rarely if ever seen an application go in or the next couple of reports that will be demanded of you shortly after you apply that are not riddled with error. It can be inaccurate statements that you thought was accurate, but they were inaccurate and they were wrong and they were hurtful. And had you had an experienced paying attention attorney or non-attorney rep um, clarifying, working with you on your answers to make sure that you're actually being responsive while not inadvertently giving twistable answers, um, I think that's all the better. And that really is the job of the attorney. Um, any anyone who says, oh no, we can't help you with that, that's entirely you do it and you send it in. If they've gotten, if you've gotten them on board, I think that's a no-no. Um, and I'll hold it at that, but I think that's a big problem. So anyway, the three things you need to do: download your earnings statement because you're not gonna be able to get it later. Call that 100 that 1 800 number uh, I gave you, 1 800 772 1213 And 
if you can, get an attorney before you file, okay? Or a non-attorney rep who's very experienced and devoted to the, uh, to the field. Either way, either one needs to be devoted to you and to the field. Okay, happy new year 2023. Let's make this the year that if you are eligible for social security disability, um, if you are disabled, that this is the year you prevail on your claim, okay? Have a great one. You know how to reach me, but bye now.